Hey guys, me, Hosu, but so all thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the SH Figure Arts Elden Ring figure. I do have to say a big thank you to the wonderful people at Heo.com for sending this through. It's completely free of charge for me to review. And to the wonderful people at Bandai to Machinations for making this review possible. Thank you very much, Heo.com. I do appreciate you, and I really am looking forward to busting this one open. This video game is hard as nails, and it absolutely broke me trying to complete this game. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the festering fingerprint Vike and see how he compares to some other characters from fantasy and fiction. And then we're going to have a good look at this character, see what he's all about, and review this one. So let's jump in and open this one and take him out of the packaging. This figure is almost too nice to open, isn't it? Look at it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, look at it. This looks awesome. So we've got flame effects and simplistic style and hero action. Yeah, and you know it's an official SH Figure Arts product with the little hologram right there. Some marking to machinations quality. <laughs> Great. So here he is out of the packaging already looking so cool. This figure is very nice. I am loving this thing. Look at it. The armor detailing and things are just so good. Very well put together. Articulation. Oh my god, there's so much articulation going on. So the head um, is hindered a little bit by this cloth piece, uh, but it can it does still look left and right pretty well. Um, the arm at the side lifts up all the way and rotates. We've also got double hinged elbows that wrap all the way around and hands are on hinge joints. We can rotate this guy around at the abdomen, which is nice. Even the pauldron pieces lift up and stuff because of the hinge joint, because the, the, the little joints that they're on, it makes it moves it out of the way. So it doesn't hinder when you're trying to pose him up, which is great. So you can just move that up and down a little bit, which is nice. Uh, the arms obviously click in and out of place like that. You can sort of move the shoulders up and things like that to get some better movements and articulation points. Uh, great. Then from there, we've got the legs that lift all the way out, as well as forwards and backwards and we've even got like a top thigh cut going on here with a double hinged knee which is nice that wraps all the way around and the feet are on rocker and pivot with toe articulation as well on this one that just pushes forward and backwards the figure itself comes with one giant weapon we do get one big spear which is covered in blood the blood of his enemies are already splattered upon it which is awesome and then we can even add a fire effects piece as well, which is pretty cool. Shing, and just slide that on and set it ablaze. So the figure comes as standard with two fisty cuffed hands, which I am going to be removing and changing so that we can use that giant spear. So I'm going to pop the two hands just off of here like that. Move the camera over a little bit. And then we, if we look here on the desk, we've got a multiple bunch of other hands that we can use with this guy. So we've got the fisty cuffed hands out of the way. We've got two open palm hands, uh, like grab hands, and then we've got the weapon holding hands. So I think we're gonna need that one. On there, and as you can see, they just click into place very easily. Not much pressure needed. And this one. There we go. I think those two hands should do it. Let's have a go. I'm going to squeeze the hands open a little bit to slide the weapon in. I may have to do this off camera. I'm struggling to see. Oh, there we go. And then wrap that around. That weapon is very heavy, so you're going to want to dual wield. So if I get him to do that and then tilt the hand that way. I can get the secondary hand on the next part of the blade. And again, I'm just gonna gently oh, I'm just gonna gently pull the hand open and slide in. Oh, I may have got the wrong hand on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change it. Ooh. That's the one one. That's better. As you can see, it's uh, putting a lot of pressure on this hand here, so we want to be very careful. 
Can we just bend them fingers out like we did the first time around? I'm gonna have to do this off camera, I can't see. Okay, so it's moving the hands out of the way. I've kind of got it now into a bit of a pose. Now the thing is this, because this makes it very top heavy, you do have to kind of get him in a bit of a lunge pose and get his feet in a good position. Otherwise, this he's gonna keep falling every two seconds. Uh, the, it does make the weapon very top heavy with that plastic piece. But when balanced, oh no! I thought I had it. <laughs> but when balanced, it does look pretty cool. And that flame effects piece is pretty decent. It's a good little weapon. But um, for the review purposes, I'm gonna take that off right now just to get a bit of counterweight going so I can get this figure stood. And uh, the great part, I've, I ended up using an open palm hand with the gram hand, so I can slide the weapon as to what point I want it at, turn it, and then get him to dual wield it by just holding it in the other hand. It seems to work a lot nicer than trying to get both grab hands to be grabbing the weapon. This seems more of a natural kind of pose anyway, with the hand open at the other, on the other hand side. But yeah, it does. It does have. It does have its. It does make it a lot of fun to try and pose this guy up. But there's plenty of different movements and poses you can strike with this guy, and it does. He does look awesome all the time. The, the, the weapon is awesome, and the figure looks so cool, especially with that like big chunk taken out the front. Look at that! It's like he's just he's battle worn and ready for uh, ready to fight and kill. Very cool indeed. Like I said, I'm struggling to stand this guy today, I'm not going to lie. And then again, I am using an uneven, like, it's like a fuzzy felt fake uh, grass that I used to review on, which is causing a few issues standing this guy. Um, he's going to fall again. <laughs> so, I mean, it is good. I, I would... Uh, personally, I'm going to use a display stand. Um, the staff isn't quite long enough to stick into the ground to, like, hard to like hold him up that way. So it could just be me. I am sometimes terrible at trying to get figures to stand and pose. I'm not the best in, um, art, you know, articulated artwork for posing. The thing is, I want him stood at his tallest because of the next thing I want to do is compare this guy to uh, some other fantasy figures that we have and that you may have in your collection. And wonder if he's tall enough to display them with or whatever. So let, give me a second, just try and... There we go. Please, please stand. <laughs> right, so, SH Figure Arts are notoriously a little, little bit smaller than other manufacturers of toys. So, starting out with Hasbro and their Dungeons and Dragons that come in at about 6 inches. Uh, this guy kind of goes with them a little bit. It does make this guy look a bit to be on the skinnier side. And this is like more of a 5, 5 and a half inch scale. Whereas this guy is a 6 inch scale. So, it does look good, I'm not going to lie. If you wanted, if you needed something for, for, for um, you know, your Dungeons and Dragons figures to pose against, this could work. However, what definitely won't work is the NECA versions of Dungeons and Dragons, as they are seven inch in scale and really dwarf this guy completely. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> Sticking with the larger figures in scale, obviously fantasy, we've got McFarlane's Princess Bride line. Again, he's far too big. But what I don't mind the look of is Mythic Legions with this guy. Obviously, a lot of Mythic Legions are based on monsters. And obviously, our knight here may like some monsters to fight. So, I don't mind posing these two off one another, as they're both fantasy. The size difference can be put down to, you know, being a, being a fantasy beast character opposite a knight. So, it does work. And therefore, we can have a battle. Poke the Mythic Legion, poke him. Brrr. <laughs> but yeah, either way, really cool thing. Enough comparisons aside, SH Figure Arts don't need to be compared to anyone else. They are top-notch figures, excellent quality, and overall an amazing figure for the shelf. 
But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure arts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video today, then why not subscribe? Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>